The aeronautical syllabus talks about aluminium alloys, only one of which is used in aircraft. Aluminium silicon, the 4000 series, but you don't need to know the series designations. They get their strength through solid solution strengthening. Their big advantage is they, when molten, they are runny, as runny as water. They have very low melt visc viscosity or high fluidity and it makes them perfect for die casting your matchbox cars. Or anything that needs to be die cast is usually made out of a 4000 series alloy. Used a lot in car manufacturing to make the various components used in cars. The aluminium silicon alloys, with a bit of magnesium however, behave differently. The magnesium forms magnesium silicides, Mg2Si, and that magnesium silicide precipitation hardens the metal. Um, once again, it's the most common alloy, is the 6000 series. If you buy aluminium off the shelf in a hardware store, it's 6000 series. It's used a lot in architectural um, applications, general fabrication. Once again, not used much in aircraft. The aircraft grade is aluminium copper because of its better strength development and other metallurgical characteristics. So aluminium copper, the 2000 series, once again, don't need to know the name. It does make copper to aluminum precipitates, which once again, precipitation harder. The textbooks often refer to duralumin. Patented in 1904, ceased commercial development in the mid-1920s, a hundred years ago. It's an obsolete name. Do not use duralumin in the examination, say an aluminium copper alloy. If you must use a name, use grade 2014, which is close, but it's grade 2014 is a lot better than duralium. It's used a lot in the aircraft industry today because of its strength. Um, issue that it does have is the precipitates at the atomic level cause strain. Put this on high definition, you'll definitely see the image on the screen. The strain introduced localised areas of high energy. The localised area of high engine energy introduces preferential corrosion. Because of that, if you use straight out aluminium copper alloys in an aircraft, you are susceptible to corrosion. Not a good look when you're flying in the air and the plane's corroding. How they stop it is they actually make a product called Alclad. They get the metal the precipitation hardened metal and they physically bond pure aluminium on both surfaces like L4 and now the L4 gives the corrosion resistance and because it's got uniform aluminium on the surface you don't get the preferential corrosion. That's aircraft aluminium in a nutshell.